Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Well, current and former college students across the country are keeping close tabs on the U.S. Supreme Court to see how justices will rule in President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan. And as that plays out in Washington, those on college campuses, they're finding unique ways to help students with college expenses. Eyewitness News reporter Gil McClanahan explains for us. President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan would forgive up to $20,000 in student debt for more than 40 million Americans. There is no denying a college education can be an expensive venture. To help with those expenses, members of Kappa Sigma Fraternity at Marshall University set up by the Student Center hoping people would pay money to buy a guy. And this is going to go towards our scholarship funding in the fraternity. Tuition, in other words. Yes, yes, basically towards tuition or housing or food service. Sophomore Colby Horner knows all too well how expensive a college education can be and the need for student loans. But I've probably got right now as a sophomore upwards of 12 grand already, and I'm looking to sit about 15, 18, 20 thousand by the time I graduate. Yeah, they're uh, immensely helpful. Um, uh, my family has struggled with financial, and so it's without the student loans, there's no way I'd be able to pay for college. Right now, students are watching the U.S. Supreme Court as they consider President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan. Dude, it would, it would take a big weight off of everybody's shoulders, especially mine. But As the country waits for the Supreme Court's decision, the pause on student loan payments started during the pandemic remains in effect, as is the pause on applications for the student loan forgiveness program. Those payments don't go to the university. Um, the loan payments that the students are facing, that is going directly back to their lenders. So we had already received the money that those students had borrowed. The high court usually issues decisions by the end of June before justices go on summer break. But in this particular case, it might take months before a decision is rendered. In Huntington, Gil McClanahan, Eyewitness News. Thanks, Gil. Nice and warm.